You know the guy who whistled that? Earl Hagen, and he wrote that song too. It's called uh, Fishing Hole, I think, and of course it's from Andy Griffith. And he wrote a lot of television theme songs, sometimes called the most famous composer you've never heard of. Anyway, he wrote this song, Coming Home Baby, and I had a request to do it. And it's really just kind of a blues tune. Um, I think one of the best versions out there is, uh, I think it's Larry Carlton. Yeah, Larry Carlton plays it great. One of the worst versions has got to be Mel Torme. <laughs> especially that old black and white thing of him in the, in the 60s singing this. It's just so coming home, baby. And, you know, there's not much to cover here. Uh, but, you know, one thing that happens in, in so many jazz songs and blues songs is we get the same stuff over and over again, right? So here's a chord progression, B flat seventh, A seventh, A flat, and G minor. Kind of reminds me of that song by uh, Chicago. I'm a man, yes I am, and I can't help but love you so. Right? Same chord progression. And you know, another little thing too about jazz, this is one of the first things I discovered about jazz is that when you have a chord progression like this, what you want to do is, you know, find something cool to play on it and then do exactly the same thing, you know, following the chords. Try something easier. You know, something like that, or maybe you're going. Or, so anytime you have a, a chromatic chord progression like that, you know, it's sometimes good to just do a little uh, repetition or sequence. So one, two, three, ba -da -da. good song to use like uh, that Bill Evans uh, so what chord and then Put a little turn around there if you want. Soloing, you know, uh, take a little G minor chord, or maybe just do something like that, even. Or just a, a root position chord, nothing wrong with that. And uh, pentatonic scale, pentatonic scale with a passing note. And that's the blue scale, if you didn't realize that. Uh, Dorian mode, and that's during Dorian mode, avoiding the E and the E flat because we don't know which one to use. I mean, Dorian mode would be E, and uh, natural minor would be E flat, and they're both good. All right. uh, bebop type scale. passing tone. Even harmonic scale could possibly work. Get to C minor. Same uh, blue scale. That's pentatonic. And then like I said on the B flat, you know, it's a dominant chord. All the cool notes are in this rootless voicing, so if you use something like that, even if you just play B flat like that, and then look to that rootless voicing to find some cool notes to play. Or, you know, do... Right, now that's using... Uh, this concept of the Lydian dominant scale, but all I was thinking was B flat, I'll play a C triad, you know, up a, up a whole step from B flat. And then since I'm going chromatically, and look, on the A flat, 
you know, that B flat triad is like leading into the G minor, so it's pretty nice, you know. C minor, you could switch into like C blue scale, C pentatonic scale, minor pentatonic. Uh, I'll see how that works. Yeah, you could kind of use them both. Usually when you're playing the blues, you just stick to the basic blues scale, though there are plenty of exceptions to that, of course, but, uh, uh, you know, even as you're going through, like, say, a 2-5-1, well, you usually stick to the G minor blues scale, but, you know, on, on a minor blues, when you get to the four chord, it seems to work pretty well to go ahead and use that, that C blues scale. I think in a major blues, it doesn't work as well to do that but uh, in the minor blues seems to be just fine. All right, and down at the bottom of the page, there's Cool Blues by Charlie Parker. Uh, I don't know that one. I don't know it. Yeah, let's stick with Earl Hagen. 